The Sigler stomatitis virus is a viral disease transmitted to multiple susceptible species of livestock we have in the state of Texas. Our susceptible species would be cattle primarily, uh, horses, equine, our sheep and goat population, as well as the, the, the swine population. Symptoms of our vesicular stomatitis VS virus would be uh, primarily oral lesions or vesicles, uh, which are small blister ulceration looking lesions in the mouth, uh, on the lips, in the oral mucosal area. We will see these lesions also on the uh, udder area, uh, the prepucial area, as well as around the coronary band, which is uh, the ring or the, the region around above where the hoof would join our, our leg. Cicular stomatitis virus is of major concern to, the, to us with the Animal Health Commission in that uh, it does resemble foot and mouth disease. And the only way to differentiate one from the other is through sampling and lab confirmation. Humans can pick up VS, but it's not, it's not any type of a life-threatening situation or disease spread entity from humans to humans. Biosecurity is something that's very important in foreign animal disease investigations and upon arrival at the premises we, with contact with the owners, biosecurity, PPE, personal protection equipment is put in place. Our investigation primarily includes uh, just a visual inspection of the animal looking for the particular vesicles, lesions that we're interested in and that, would, that the veterinarian had reported. So in the part of our investigation and process, samples would be taken to be shipped to the diagnostic lab to uh, verify what particular virus we might be dealing with. That's good. In the process of our investigation, of course, all detailed information, history, background on movement, uh, when the animals might have come in, come out, at, the, at this time, with, we, we assume and suspect this vesicular stomatitis, a hold order would be placed on the premise with all livestock uh, on that premise uh, and to restrict move it, movement on these animals until we can verify with lab confirmation whether we actually have the, the, the disease itself. So at the time, the results would come back from the laboratory with a positive diagnosis for VS, vesicular stomatitis, the hold order would be changed to a quarantine. It's also transmitted uh, by human contamination. If you're handling one of these animals and you pick it up on yourself, you can pick this up and move it around without the parasite uh, being involved. Also, uh, uh, your livestock equipment, your halters, your bits and things that you would be using you pick this virus up on, on that equipment just like any other viral infection you might have. And so this could be transmitted from one premise to the next and from one part of the state to the other, just strictly from contamination of that virus being on your, on your equipment that, that you use. So biosecurity again there is very important uh, to be sure you're not swapping and, and exchanging equipment and gear without proper cleaning and disinfecting. And, we are diagnosed with VS. Uh, is VS in this situation, uh, we have movement restrictions on our livestock being able to move from our state to other states and to other foreign countries. So it's a major concern that we stop movement and stop occurrence of this and try to, to combat this virus. Mm -hmm.